Okay, this is going to be the first part of building our custom FreeNAS build. Um, I picked out a workstation motherboard, and the reason why I picked this motherboard out is because it supports ECC RAM. It has um, an Intel NIC. Those are just some of the reasons, and plus workstation motherboards are a lot better than using consumer grade boards. They're, they're built more reliable. They can last a lot longer, and they, they're built to be on 24-7. So. For the motherboard we picked out, we have the uh, MIMSI Workstation C236A. This is the front of it. It says Intel Xeon inside, but there's not really a Xeon inside. It does not include a processor. We'll be using the i3-7100 for this application. But it's just showing you that it, it will support Xeon CPUs because it is a workstation motherboard. It's by MSI. And on the side here, we just have our serial, our serial number, and it just says this stuff right here. And right here, on this side, it just says supports Intel Xeon E3 version 5 series, Core i3, and Intel Pentium and Celeron processors for socket LGA 1151. Supports ultra high speed DDR4 memory, PCI 3.0 times 16 slot, HD audio, and gigabit LAN. Don't care about the audio. And then on the side, just the same things. On this side, you just have just have that. So, and on the back is where we have a lot of the meat and potatoes. Um, as you can see up here in the right hand corner, we have. SLI and Crossfire support, but this is going to be on a server, so I'm not going to need a graphics card. This does have built in onboard graphics. Um, it has a VGA, a DVI, and HDMI port, which we'll see later. So, for the most demanding professional, industry's highest quality components with an unmatched design, the best performance, stability, and reliability, the perfect multitasking power force for demanding productivity applications. It just shows for multitasking, data analysis, and technical computing. Workstation, 100% compatible with professional graphics cards. Um, fulfilling the most demanding visualization workloads. Data center and cloud, high security, flexible storage upgrade. Energy efficient, reducing operational cost. 100% um, compatibility. Now this is the one reason I got it right here. Supports ECC RAM and this supports um, DDR4 up to 2400 unbuffered ECC RAM um, supports Intel Xeon E3 we already went over that um, supports Quadro and Fire Pro graphics cards and then of course they do the um, extensive testing you have industrial level test standards compatibility burn-in stability vibration Extreme environmental reliability, x ray tests, margin test, temperature, humidity, T shot test. You got a lot of different tests that they're doing here. Better experience with MSI exclusives. Um, don't really care about that stuff. DDR4 boost, optimize memory circuitry to ensure the memory signals stay pure and optimal performance for optimal performance and stability. Um, they just doubled up on the um, solder for the PCI slots, so it can e more easily support, you know, heavier graphics cards. You know what I'm saying? Um, you just got the specifications down here. It just shows you CPU socket, the chipset. You know, um, this thing can take up to 64 gig of RAM. Tells you all your expansion slots. You know how many SATA ports it has, USB ports. The LAN is Intel, of course, um, and of course you have your I/O overview over here as well, which, as you can see, has onboard graphics, which is a good thing because this is just going to be for a FreeNAS server, and I don't want to have to go out and buy a um, a GPU just to be able to see the console to set FreeNAS. So that's good that it has onboard graphics. And MSI is MicroStar International Co. Limited, and of course, she got the famous main China on everything. So I'm just looking. Printed with soy ink. Okay, nothing else interesting on the back of this. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Let me go get the, the unboxing knife, shall I? 
I apologize for the loud refrigerator over there. You guys can hear that refrigerator. So it is sealed. Oh, and another thing to take, take note of is your serial number on the side. You're going to want to go on MSI and register that, so don't just rip it up. This tab is hard to rip. So if you don't know FreeNAS, it is an open source um, network attached storage operating system that runs off of FreeBSD. Um, it uses the ZFS superior file system, which is um, really RAM hungry and basically demands ECC RAM and server grade components. You don't want to just build a FreeNAS box using consumer grade hardware. So workstation is the next step up and you have server grade motherboards but workstation I find are a lot easier to work with and cheaper so inside whoo so we open that up and we obviously we're already greeted with the motherboard in an anti-static bag so let's go ahead and focus on that so we're instantly greeted with an anti-static bag and I will gotta be really careful with this because I do not want to shock anything. Ooh, that motherboard is... So this is an ATX4 motherboard. So I'm just going to set this motherboard aside and we're going to take a look at the internals here. So inside the box you have these two um, black little cubby holes. So I'm going to open this up. And they just hide everything behind this. So that's interesting. Now it does come with some SATA cables. Um, looks like you come, it comes with four SATA cables. So they're MSI brand, but I have SATA cables coming from Monoprice because this is going to be a NAS build. So you have your I/O shield that they include, which does seem to be flimsy. So this IO shield, I'm not really impressed with this IO shield. Be very careful when we install this in the case because this IO shields, they will cut you up if you're not careful. Then it looks like we have a, um, is that an SLI bridge? Well there's the part number. It looks like an, looks like an SLI bridge for your graphics card which odd I guess. Then we have a CD that comes with the drivers, which we will not need because we're installing this on FreeBSD, not Windows or anything. Just says thanks for choosing an MSI product. Put autofocus back on there. And just go to register MSI.com, which I already have an MSI account, so I will register this under my account. You have the quick installation guide, which is going to show you how to put your CPU on and put put the memory in and all the Basics. Also, this motherboard also has an M2 slot, and just it's just going to show all the basics of that. So, I'm just going to show you the um, front panel connector headers, stuff like that. But I always like to refer to the actual paper manual. Pa paper manual. So you can see C236A workstation user guide motherboard. And it says Pro Series because this this ain't no gaming motherboard. This is you know a professional motherboard. <laughs> it's a workstation motherboard, so it's a notch above. And inside, of course, we have where it tells you about all the headers and all the goodies. Um, well, that's in a different language. So there's that. And I actually also have the PDF of this um, from MSI.com, which um, is in color and everything, so that's nice. And it's a bit updated. But I always like to have a paper one on hand. And there's nothing else in the box. So let's go ahead and let's let's take a look at this. Um, let's take a look at this motherboard. I think I showed you everything. I showed you the IO shield, which I was not entirely impressed with. Everything else seems all right, though. I think that went in there like that. 
go back in there. I always have a hard time putting stuff back in the boxes. I can never get anything away flush. Just never been never been good at that. Alright. So the motherboard I have to be extremely careful with. Because I don't want to like ruin it. Comes in an anti-static static bag. And as you can see, has tape on the back, so. Hopefully I can undo that. ESD. I'm not trying not to touch this motherboard as much as possible because I don't like touching motherboards. There we go. So I picked it up by the um, the heat sinks on the north bridge there. But now we can see this motherboard. Oh my goodness, is she a beauty. So let me go ahead and back this out. Okay, we're back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give you some close-ups of the board. And as you can see, over here we have our six SATA, six gigabit headers. So we have two on the side right there, two on the other side. Another one right there, so that's six total. Then we have our USB header. And then our USB header, we have our 24 pin um, power for the motherboard. We have a sys fan header, which that's gonna be voltage regulated. We have a CPU fan two header, which I'm gonna use for the front two intakes. That's a PWM header. We have our four slots of um, four RAM slots, DDR4. Um, down here we have a shit ton of head headers and um, these are gonna be our front panel headers to connect the power, the hard drive, LED lights, stuff like that. Now we have two more USB headers. Um, see got the famous Bain China <laughs> we have another uh, voltage regulated header right there we got our um, RTC CMOS battery which is KTS brand and as you can see we got our oh those are nice our PCI Express time 16 slot which looks like it's reinforced with metal so that's really that's really nice. Of course, we got our onboard Realtek audio, which isn't going to be used because this is a server. And even if I was going to use audio for a desktop build, I'd be using an external DAC. We have our CPU socket, which has the notorious Foxconn. Isn't that lovely? We have some nice big heat sinks. Um, we got another header over here, which is going to be the CPU fan one header, which I'll use that for the rear fan. And then we have our eight pin um, CPU power right there. And I think I covered most of the headers. Oh yeah, we have another fan header right there. It says fan one, that's voltage regulated. Oh, and there's our M2 slot, by the way, on the motherboard. So it's a pretty interesting board. I'm um, sorry if I'm rushing. Um, I have an appointment today, so I'm trying to get this video over with, try to get through all the basics. But um, yeah, that's that's a, this is a first look at the board. Of course, we're gonna show putting it in the case and we're gonna show the unboxing everything else. That's an LG um, 1151 socket, by the way. And our back I.O., as you can see, we have, I love it that they included the good old PS2 connectors. We got for keyboard and mouse. Love it. Basically, if your USB drivers aren't working and shit, a PS2 keyboard is going to work on anything. <laughs> then we have our um, onboard video, which will be powered from whatever CPU you use, your Intel HD graphics. 
So we have a VGA, we have a DVI, and then we have an HDMI right here. There's the HDMI. That is a USB-C um, connector. We have USB 3.1. We have two USB 2 ports. We have an Intel Gigabit NIC. I wish it had two, but oh well. And of course you have all your connectors for your onboard audio, which we ain't gonna use. So, there's a first look at the MSI um, C236A workstation motherboard that we're gonna be using for our free NAS build. I'll catch you in the next series.